So just the one raced here from Lingfield, and it's the Surrey National. It's over three and a half miles, and all to one thirty. So Bucko for Martin Needham is it? Our top weight, Annie Oakley for John Morgan, Lords Kestrel for David Robertson, Wizard for Martin Leadham, Ozark Largo for Vinnie Gerard, let's hope for Derek, yeah, David Hooley, Subway Sack for Kevin Meenahan, Inspirina Relief for James Shea, looking for a three timer, catching over Hassel for Thomas Rogers, Thracian Lamp for Pontypool, Arakova Days for James Shea, Divinite Agus for Stu Gray, along with Inflation Stamp, B. Vella Rock for Kevin Meenahan, and Jameer Cottage for Thomas Rogers, another 15. Starter's got him away. And they're racing. Race downhill to the first. It was a big plane one. Here, boys over it. And the rock was a little bit slow. As we wait for them to sort themselves out. And approach the second. And we over there as well. This time it was Jimmy Cottage who was the rear that stepped over it. So it's Thracian Lamp that leads us. The Graham Clutterbuck into the third. He takes it well. Oh, well, did we lose one there? No, we didn't lose one. It looked like it was a fall up. The rest of the pack are pretty close. And this is Thracian Lamp that's going to lead us past the grandstand. It leads by about seven to David Hooley's Let's Hope. And Oakley for John Morgan out wide. So we'll tack over towards the fence now. Two green silks of, I think, Inspirina Relief and Paracoba Days are going to be the widest of all as they start to swing left handed and they go through the first half mile. So it's Thracian Lamp, although we can only see his rear end at the moment. The rest of the pack, which has just been led by Annie Oakley. Let's hope. Let's hope Annie Oakley's got her gun. She can shoot a few of these rivals as she goes round. So it's Thracian Lamp that leads us from Annie Oakley. And let's hope. Catching over Hassel and Spurina Relief in between those is inflation stamp. As they go to the fourth, slightly back again was Jimmy at Cottage. A couple of greys in here. We've got a rock for Kevin Meehan's the first one. Out wide is David Robertson's Lord Kestrel. Another grey, which is Divinite Agus for myself. We get to the sixth, leaders over it. The rest this time, a couple of four jumps by Divinite Agus and Lord Castro. It shuffle back towards the rear. Gives this small ditch. Seventh, they're all over that as well. So Thracian Lamp is still leading. He's got a six length advantage from Annie Oakley to move into second on his own. And then all the horses, all chasing. One up against the fence closest to us is Bucko for Martin, leading the top weight. He's followed through by his stable mate Wizard. And a couple back. Jimmy Cottage has uh, shuffled his way into better contention. And towards the rear is Arakova Days, Lord's Kestrel, and we can't see Divinite Agus at the moment as they get to the eighth. The leaders are over it. This is the rest. So they're all still on their feet here. 15th. To win the Surrey Nationals, they get to a ditch. Oh no, we have lost one. It's Wizard that's gone. Slipped his jockey. Unlucky to Martin. Quite the kiss of Stu as before. But it's Thracian Lamp that's still got a six length advantage from Annie Oakley in second. Subway sacked. First mentioned for him has moved up into third for Kevin Meenahan. Not Bucko and Let's Hope. The green silks of catching over Hassel. Wonder if that is Jim Inspirina Relief. Good for its three time up. Got Jameer Cottage in there. We've got a rock the first of the Greys. Run through by Lord's Kestrel and inflation stamp on his outside, the loose horse wizard. Maricopa Days and Divinite Agus has managed to get back into the screen. Two miles to travel, and a bad mistake by the leader. Soon his lead dropped by a couple of lengths now. Thracian Lamp and Annie Oakley. Subway sect. We go to the 11th. So half the fence is done. And it's still Thracian Lamp that's led us from the beginning. Point of departure. As they go out again. Thracian Lamp. Got just three now. So Annie Oakley that's taken a little bit of a hold. Subway sets in third. That goes fourth. Let's hope it's five. And the wall of green silks. Catching over Hazel Oves. Out Largo. Jameer Cottage in. Spurina Relief. And two greys. Lord Kestrel and Viva La Rock. And they're about three or four away from Divinite Agus, Agus against the fence. Inflation Stamp. Paracova Days and the Loose Horse Wizard. But it's the Pontypool Racing, Thracian Lamp. Just by three now to Subway Sect. 
and he opens the buckle and lets hope. Moves back. Keep me crotched up against the fence. Right wing silks, right sleeves are catching over hassle. It's Kestrel, the grey and yellow cap. Inspirational relief. Not wise, they go to the 13th. A little bit slower over that one. Some of these horses are getting a little bit tired now. Thrashen Lance leads down to just two lengths now to only Oakley and Subway Sect. We go over the 14th. Again, a more slow jump. Poor mistake by uh, Divinite Agus. Still got his jockey. So there's still six fences to take. And that's the six. So five more. It's still Thracian Lamp from Annie Oakley, Subway Sect. Jameer Cottage, Castanova Hassel, Small Ditch. They were over that as well. Towards the rear is Arakova Day. He's got to do a little bit from there and also being pushed along his inflation stamp. But inside the final mile, it's Thracian Lamp still leads by a couple of lengths from Annie Oakley. But Annie Oakley looks ominous. John Morgan, long distance run up. Bucko's in third. And you're catching over Hassel in fourth. We should be pushed along as Jameer Cottage. Divinite Agus has made up a bit of ground. Oz Ozark Largo. As they go over the 17th, that's four from home. And all oh, and we lost another one. Let's hope's gone there for David Hooley. Slipped his jockey. His horses are starting to get tired now as they go over the 18th. That's four from home. The three, the jump. And lost another one. Jameer Cottage has gone. But up front, Fresh and Lamp is now challenged by Ozark Largo. So Ozark Lago takes it up. Ozark Lago for Vinnie Gerard. Leads by length and a half as we come inside the final five with three to take. It's Ozark Lego. Leads from Thracian Lamp. The others are all being pushed along now. I'm not sure they're going to get into it. The one that's running on really well is Divinite Agus, but it's Ozark Lego. Still leads by a couple of lengths from Thracian Lamp. And then a couple back to running on well. Divinite, Divinite Agus, Subway Sect, Annie Oakley. They're all under a lot of pressure now as we come inside the three. And it's Ozark Lego. Still leads by a couple of lengths from Thracian Lamp. Is starting to tread water. Divinite Agus moves up into second. Annie Oakley moves up into fourth as they go over the nine. Three from home with just two to jump, and it's Ozark Largo. You can see them in the distance. It's Ozark Lago takes them into the penultimate, leads by a couple. Divinite Agus goes through the top of it, loses his momentum. Here comes Annie Oakley, but it's this Ozark Lago they've got to catch. We're inside the final furlong, gets over the last, but he's slowing up a bit here. Here comes Divinite Agus, Ozark Lago, Divinite Agus in second. But I think this Ozark Lago is going to hang on to this as we come inside the final half of the furlong. It's Ozark Lago for. Billy Gerard that's going to take this from good run from Divinite Agus in second for Stu Gray. Third is going to be Subway Sec, just holds off Annie Oakley and Bucko. Ooh, fourth and fifth. So a good win there for Ozark Lego. We lost a, someone got pulled up there as well, Arakova Days. A good win there. So the Surrey National goes to Ozark Lego. Finney Gerard. Divinite Agus for Stu Gray came in second. I'm pleased with that. Subway set for Kevin Meanham was third. Annie Oakley for John Morgan was fourth. And Bucko for Martin Leedham was fifth. Well, from Lingfield, I'm not too sure where we're off to now. But I'm pretty sure we're off to Fairy House in Ireland. See you there.